Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the IT guy here again. Today, a little bit of trickery in the in the Synology Disk Station Manager. Uh, I've already logged in. I hope you have already logged in as well. If you want to do this, so log into your Disk Station and let's get started uh, immediately. So, creating a symlink. You know what creating a symlink is? Creating a symlink is actually creating a uh, a sort of shortcut uh, between two folders so you would have you would have an empty folder and that empty folder would serve as a shortcut uh, and instead of having actually a shortcut you would have the empty folder being populated with the contents of the folder where your shortcut would uh, di would uh, direct itself to if that makes sense so uh, go ahead and open up the control panel and go into terminal and SMP and enable the telnet and SSH service and go ahead and apply that and let's go into the file station then so I have this data folder and I'm going to link my video folder which contains films and series I'm going to link the video folder into data so I cannot do uh, like I cannot do this I cannot like get these folders to go into data because otherwise um, the data folder would become empty so my Synology downloads folder would be gone because you know the sim link just creates a link between this folder and that folder so that would mean that the data folder would no longer have um, the contents of uh, the contents that it currently has so I do want that to stay so what I'm going to do is create a subfolder within my data folder just go ahead and create a folder and call this video symlink. You can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to create the, na the name called uh, video symlink. So now that's done. We have a subfolder and now we can go ahead and create the, uh, the symlink. So close that up. Then go ahead into PowerShell or whatever terminal uh, based whatever uh, SSH client you use. PowerShell supports it. I know it might be blasphemy for any of you Linux users out there, uh, but I'm going to use PowerShell because I'm working on a Windows computer right now. Um, so if you have Windows and you don't have the SSH client install, uh, if you, do, if you would have a, an older version of Windows where the SSH client is not yet installed, you can go ahead and use PuTTY. PuTTY is, uh, if you go to PuTTY.org, PuTTY.org, right over here. PuTTY.org is a SSH and Telnet client, so you can go ahead and use that. And the website clearly states how to uh, use the uh, how to use the tool. So you can go ahead and use PuTTY if you don't have um, SSH installed. But I'm going to use SSH for uh, PowerShell. So this is just open SSH, and the command is SSH minus L space. Um, so this is IT guy. This is the administrator's username space the uh, the name of the disk station uh, that you want to manage. So mine has the basic disk station name. I did not change the DNS name. I didn't change the host name of the, of the disk station. You can enter the um, the IP address over here as well. This is completely up to you. So just go ahead and press enter and go ahead and enter the password. So right now we are in the Synology Disk Station. If I do an ls, there are two folders that are important. We um, we need two folders, so we're going to use volume one is one of the folders and the Etsy folder, uh, which is right over here. So this is the Etsy folder and we're going to use the volume one folder over here. So let's go ahead and uh, cd into the volume one. And let's see what type of folders are listed over here. So we have the data folder and we have the video folder, which are the two folders that we um, that we want to use to link to each other. So um, we need to go back into the uh, Etsy folder as well. So let's go into the Etsy folder. And right now there is uh, a bunch of files, but there's one file that you have to create. So we're going to sudo touch uh, rc.local and there we can uh, vi actually you can skip the touch uh, command it's not really important it's just something i just sometimes like to do so go ahead and edit that and we're going to put a uh, a command in here so we're going to sudo mount dash dash uh, bind 
And then we want to uh, enter two arguments over here. So we want to enter the first argument is the folder uh, where the file is resided. So the, the target folder. So you want to uh, target a specific folder. You want that folder's contents to appear in the symlink directory. So uh, we go into volume one. So whatever volume your folder is into, this will change. You know, you can have multiple volumes on your Synology NAS. So if you go into Storage Manager over here, you will have volume one. And if you have multiple volumes, just make sure that whatever folder you are using, uh, make sure that you choose the right volume for the folder. So if the folder is stored on volume two, then you'll have a folder on your root directory called volume two, where the files, um, where the uh, where the folders uh, will reside in. So keep that in mind. So volume one, going uh, going ahead here, volume one video, and then the second argument is the place where you want these uh, folders to appear in. So we are going into volume one, and then data. And then we, uh, what was the name of the folder again? Let's just double check. Video Simlink. Okay, so we call this Video Simlink. And uh, you can use this uh, command also right in the, in the, into the terminal itself. If you would enter this command, then the mount would be. Uh, then the, the, the symlink will be created, but once you reboot the NAS, uh, the symlink will disappear. So this is actually to make it definitive. Whenever the Synology NAS boots itself, uh, whenever the Synology NAS boots and the operating system starts, it will always create this symlink. So th this way, uh, it will always uh, remain, uh, remain uh, this, this way it will remain definitive. So go ahead and press escape to exit the insert mode and wq to write the uh, to write the file so i did not mention this but to enter into the um, into the writing mode in, uh, in, in, in 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 vim so this is the vim editor in linux uh, you'll need to press the i button first so keep that in mind then press the escape button and then colon wq and enter this way the um, the VI, the, the, the rc.local file uh, is written. So let's go ahead and check that out again. Okay, so it's still there. So the, the write is, uh, is successful and let's just exit here. And now let's sudo reboot to make the Synology NAS reboot and the Synology, uh, the symlink, uh, excuse me, will be created. So great, so we have re re rebooted the Synology NAS and we are we have logged into uh, the disk station manager. Let's go ahead and see if it all broke down. Let's go ahead into the file station. So we have our data uh, folder over here. Let's go into the video sibling and look at that. So we have films and series, which is basically the same content as video. So if I would create, uh, let's just say I would uh, I don't know, let's just create a folder, something like that, test. So we've created a new folder, that folder will also appear here. So we have created a successful symlink. Uh, you know, this doesn't really take long, but you know, you just have to know how to do it. And this is what I just showed you. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. And if it did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.